Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. Man, I was surprised to see that Edgar Berlinga is out here doing interviews. But I guess, I guess the timing is just right because Canelo just fought. And I was sitting here thinking, because before I felt like Canelo would just destroy Berlinga. But, but now that I'm, I'm watching it, you know, and, you know, does Canelo... Does Canelo beat Berlinga? Like that, that, that's my question, you know. And to be honest with you, I don't know anymore. I just don't know if Canelo will beat Berlinga, but I'm not saying Berlinga beats Canelo. I'm just telling you, I'm not sure what happens in that fight anymore. But the bottom line is, a, a fight with Canelo, uh, and this is from BoxingScene.com, right? A fight with Canelo Alvarez uh, ostensibly slipped right through the fingers of, you know, Berlanga. Just a few months ago, he was a hot shot free agent. Practically all of the big names surrounded him, wanting to get his name uh, inked on the dotted line, which I still can't understand why so many people wanted to sign Berlanga. Um, but anyway, Berlanga took his time, you know, he's 21 wins, 16 KOs. Um, and if you didn't know, his first 16 fights were all by KO. And that's what really had Berlinga on fire, man. But he, he carefully listened to Al Heyman's offer with PBC. Uh, he did the same thing with Oscar De La Hoya. You know De La Hoya came sniffing around. Uh, but ultimately, he felt like they were... They, they were talking good. The money sounded right. But he just felt Eddie Hearn uh, just... just just was the perfect fit for him. And also because, you know, Eddie Hearn at the time was working with Canelo and had a really good relationship, which now Canelo is not over there on Matchroom, which sucks for uh, Berlanga. But anyway, Berlanga went on to sign with Matchroom, you know, just for that reason, because Eddie Hearn, you know, fast Eddie promised him a shot at Canelo. But, but, but check this out. The money was nice, but what, what does Berlanga do now? Because he was like 100% sure he was going to get a fight with Canelo. But that has gone out the window now. That Canelo's over there doing what he's doing in a three-fight deal, one fight done already with uh, Al Heyman and PBC. But, but, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Berlinga hasn't lost hope uh, on getting that fight with Canelo. But he, he still feels like, you know what? Canelo's kind of out of the out of reach right now. Let's see what's up with Jaime Munguia. Because De, De La Hoya still has a relationship with the zone. And we all know Eddie Hearn is the zone. And, and that is a good fight for 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 Berlanga. If he can get in there with Munguia, Puerto Rico versus Mexico and and, and, and beat him, then that's gonna speak volumes, volumes for Berlanga. Uh they got another guy out of Diego Pacheco who I think is a good fight for him. But all I'm saying is that, that Diego Pacheco is not an easy fight, and neither is Jaime Munguia. But um, if Belenga can get in there and, and take any one of them, but especially Munguia out, oh, that's going to speak volumes for, 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 for Belenga. And I think Belenga and Munguia, that will put on a legendary fight, especially with the whole Puerto Rico-Mexico rivalry. Uh, and that will be the biggest win of his career. But let's just understand something. Mungia could take him to dark places in that fight. I don't care what you say. I call Mungia an alien. Because he's like he's from another planet. Mungia can fight. Mungia comes to fight. I don't care what anyone says. Mungia comes to fight. He's another one. I just did a video talking about Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford. Those kind of guys, like, they're always going to find... A way to, to give a little more in a fight, even if they're getting hurt. And Mungia is the same way. You hit him, you hurt him, he's going to find a way to give a little more. You know, he's not just going to go into a corner and, and wilt. He's going to fight back. But we got to see what Eddie Hearn is going to do to try to make these reality bouts for Belenga come to fruition because he's paying him good money. But I, I just tell you that I think, I, I really think that, uh, 
Once Berlinga finishes out his contract with uh, Eddie Hearn, he, 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 may, he may bounce from over there at match room because he, he, Berlinga wants to go a certain direction. Hearn wants to take him a different direction. You know, Her, Hearn's not stupid. He's lost, I know, I, this is just my assumption. I, I'm assuming Hearn lost a lot of money. Uh, when he was given that billion dollars. I assume he spent a lot of money on fighters who would have never made the kind of money that, that they made uh, just under normal circumstances and the return on investment just wasn't there. So now they have Mungia. I think Eddie Hearn wants to be careful but just put him in fights where he can end up losing. I think they want to make sure that he ends up in some win-win situations before they even go into a fight with like Mungia. And that's what's going to create a problem is because Mungia wants to fight right now. And Mungia, I mean, uh, Berlanga, he wants the Mungia fight right now. And Berlanga feels that he'll spank him. And he says, hey, if I spank him, for me, it's on and popping. And he should be able to go in and get the Canelo fight after. But that's just not how boxing works. And that's something Berlanga needs to understand. Eddie Hearn went out here and talked a good game, baited Berlanga in, Paying him more money than the other set, other other uh, stables were pay, are paying him, but the, the dangling that carrot in front of him, which is a Canelo fight, that's all falling apart now. So we just have to w sit back and wait and see what materializes. But I just think Edgar Belenga, I think he's a good fighter. I think a sound amateur pedigree. Uh, I think him being with Eddie Hearn is a good space for him to make to make good money. But uh, I'm just not sure he's going to be happy because he seems to be falling into a space of not getting the fights he wants, although he's getting the money he wants, um, where when he was on top rank, that's what started happening. He was he wanted to be pushed faster than what they wanted to push him. you got to understand, top rank, it's, they know how to build a fighter. And when they started kind of putting them in fights that were a little bit easier for him, lower threats. That was a smart thing to do. But Berlanga felt like, no, nah, you know, put me put me in there with punchers, with tough fights. I didn't care because, you know, he has a he has a lot of heart. But uh, he he I don't think Berlanga's realized yet that it's a business, you know. Yeah, you want to get money. And we get that, but these these promoters aren't in the sport to lose money. So it doesn't matter what your ambitions are, your aspirations are. It doesn't mean you're going to get what you want when a promoter feels that you're just one fight away from losing, and they can't have that. But that being said, let's see if he gets the Mungia fight. Let's see if it's Pacheco. And let's see if he can, you know, somehow skip the line of everyone else who wants to fight Canelo Alvarez and get that... Um, that Mexico PR uh, fight, they can get that get that popping. That being said, y'all keep cool. I like Edgar Belenga, but I just feel three years from now, he's not gonna have much many good things to say about Eddie Hearn, because basically Eddie Hearn dangled a carrot in front of him that he couldn't deliver, and that's gonna piss off Belenga. Anyway, I'm in the breeze.